develop guidelines for working together. How often have you been in a meeting and you hear the ringtone of a famous dance song? It's so disruptive. Or perhaps you've been part of a focus group where a colleague kept interrupting you mid-sentence. More than likely, after a while, it stopped you participating. This is why developing a set of guidelines for working together throughout the OCA is important. The facilitator should work with participants to set these guidelines. For example, you can ask participants, what guidelines do you think we should set for ourselves? More than likely, the participants will self-regulate, stating things like active listening, respecting colleagues' opinions and perspectives, full participation, and silencing phones. Because of the nature of OCA, you will also want to encourage honest reflection and scoring. At the end of this brief discussion, you'll have a list of guidelines. We recommend hanging these up in the room as a reminder throughout the OCA.